Hello everyone, I'm Emily from the Decorating Room here at Wilton and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a gum paste stargazer lily. Now these beautiful flowers are really popular so it's no wonder you guys have been asking for this video. Now remember, if you guys like this video and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can see all of our videos. Now we're going to start with our Wilton ready to use gum paste and we're going to knead it until it's nice and pliable. So I've got my flower impression mat here and on the back you'll see a nice little groove. We are going to dust this with some cornstarch. You want a little cornstarch down in the groove too or it'll get stuck in there. Now we're going to take our gum paste, you don't need all of this, and I'm going to roll it into a ball and then into a log. No measurements here, it's just a log. And we'll stick it on the groove and we're going to press down and make sure that gum paste gets down into the groove. Now we're going to roll it. So I've got my rolling pin with my pink guide reins, which is 1 16th of an inch. And then we're going to roll from the middle out and then the other way. This is really making sure that the gum paste goes down into that groove. I cannot stress, it needs to be in the groove. So now that I've got the gum paste to 1 16th of an inch, I'm going to take the guide rings off because I want it to be a little thinner. And we're going to roll it a little bit more. So next we're going to be using our succulent cutters. There are two cutters in that set that we'll be using. We'll be using cutter H and cutter I. We're going to start with cutter I. You can kind of see that groove in the middle. We're going to have it slightly off center. Now we're going to press down to cut and I like to peel away the gum paste and now we're going to peel this off. So now I'm going to brush some gum glue into the flap. I like using these cheap food safe paint brushes so I don't gunk up my nice dusting brushes. So now I'm going to insert the wire. I've got some 26 gauge wire. Put it right in here with the flap and the glue and we'll fold the flap over the wire to secure it. So now we're going to flip over our impression mat and here we've got two veiner sections. This one is for leaves and this one's for petals. So we're going to put it uh, flat side down so the groove is up on there. And we're going to use our purple flower shaping foam, place that on top and we're going to push. Don't be afraid to push. You're gonna like roll up at the sleeves and push. Then, nice and gentle, pick it up. Sometimes it might stick a little, that's fine. Now I'm using my ball tool. We've got a small end and a large end. I'm gonna use the large end because I don't want it to be too ruffly. So the smaller the ball, the more ruffly the petals. So now we're gonna take our petal and place it on our waveformer to dry. We're going to put a little cornstarch on there to make sure it doesn't stick. Cornstarch, cornstarch is good. Okay. I like to give it a little bit of that curve beforehand. Real gentle to make sure the wire doesn't come poking out there. And I'm going to bend this part of the wire up. And then we'll just place it on there all pretty like. So we're going to let this dry overnight and you're going to make three of these I petals and three of the H petals. So now we're going to make the pistol. I've got a half inch ball of gum paste and so we're going to roll this into a lug that's about two and a half inches long by about a quarter of an inch wide. And if it's kind of lumpy, that's okay, we can fix that in a minute. So now I've got my 20 gauge wire which is a little bit thicker. I'm going to put a little gum glue on it and we're going to put this in the narrow end. I like to twist. You want it to go about three quarters of the way up. And you see how it's kind of lumpy? We're going to fix that, just kind of give it a little roll. Now we're going to flatten the end. So I just push it on the table a little bit. And now I've got my knife tool. This isn't that sharp. You're not going to hurt yourself. You want to make three little scores. There's one, two, three. And again, I like to do the little pinchy thing down at the bottom. And then we're going to let this dry overnight as well. I like to let it dry in like a styrofoam block. 
And next, we're gonna make the stamens. So I've got some brown gum paste. I'm gonna roll it into a teeny weeny look. look. Nice and nice and thin. So now we're gonna put in the little wire. So we're using our 26 gauge wire again. And I've got a little pair of needle nose pliers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend the end at a right angle like it's an upside down L. Just a little. I'm gonna take this, just dip it in the, in the gum glue, get all the excess off. And then we're gonna kinda sneak this into the middle there. I want these dry along with your pistol. Now that everything is dry, we're gonna dust them and make them pretty. So I've got some color dust here. Got some deep pink. Stargazer lilies are usually pink with some dark spots. I'm gonna soften this pink with a little white. And then we're also gonna use a little bit of lime green. And I like to use these nice fluffy brushes. So we're gonna start with our lime green. Just a little bit down here at the bottom. I like to go right down the middle. So now we're gonna dust the pistol. And start again with that same green down the bottom half. Get this lighter shade of pink here. And we'll do this on the top. Now I'm gonna take my brown extra fine food writer and put some spots on these petals. So now we're gonna tape it all together and make our flower. So I've got my pistol, some stamens, and some floral tape. And now the petals. I'm gonna start with the three wider petals first. So now our eye petals are gonna sit in between our H petals. Then you can position your petals how you like it. And that's it. Now I'm gonna show you how to put it in a cake. So I'm gonna use this flower spike to insert my flower into the cake. Since the wire is a little thin, get it so it fits in there. Put the cap back on. I'm gonna put this in about here. Just stick it in there. And there it is. Your friends are gonna be really impressed with this realistic flower that you guys created. And if you just change the colors up a little bit and use orange instead of white, you can make tiger lilies. All the techniques are still the same. Now remember, if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave some comments below of which flower you would like to see next. I'm Emily, thanks for watching.